What's happening everyone? My name is Alex and welcome to a new review. Well, for today we have something a bit different. So we have an external SSD drive with a capacity of 128 gigs. But this is not like all the other SSD drives available. So first of all, inside this we have a 20 to 50 milliamp battery. That's right, we have an internal battery in this one. And we can actually charge any devices from it to the click of a button, so that easy. Aside from that, it can also make a Wi-Fi network and you can access all the files on this hard drive wirelessly or you can just upload stuff um, on it wirelessly. So that's why it's different than all the other hard drives available on the market. For pricing, this isn't exactly cheap. It costs somewhere around $110 and that's basically $30, $40 more than um, a regular SSD drive with the same capacity. Starting with a very quick unboxing, this comes in a very good looking box. On the front we see a picture of the hard drive itself and on the back we see some of the features of the device. Inside we are going to find the hard drive itself, we are also going to find the user manual. The user manual is in English and it's got a whole bunch of um, instructions and pictures. Aside from that we are going to find a carrying pouch so you can keep the hard drive in the little pouch whenever you don't um, use it. And lastly we are going to find the cable. This is a regular USB to a USB-C cable. The device itself it's made out of plastic entirely so the top, the bottom, the sides, everything it's made out of plastic but I have to say it doesn't feel or look cheap. On the top we have four LEDs that will show you the status of the drive so if it's connected to the internet, if it's connected to the Wi-Fi and so on. We also have a power button on one side there, the reset button, a regular USB port and a USB-C port. So first of all you can use this as a regular um, external hard drive so all you have to do is plug it into your computer and that's it you're done you don't need power you don't need anything you can just um, start using it. I went ahead and measured the writing and reading speeds um, because I wanted to see how fast um, this would be and even though it's not the fastest out there the speeds that we got are still decent. Just so I can give you a better real day-to-day -day life experience um, with this hard drive I went ahead and copied 10.5 gigs um, of data from the computer to the hard drive and that was done in about a minute and 17 seconds so overall pretty good for 10.5 gigs. There is one thing worth mentioning so if you're planning to use the Wi-Fi capabilities of this the drive has to be in an NTFS format and you know what that means. It means that you can use it for Windows for reading and writing but um, if you have a Mac you can only read what's on the hard drive so you don't have access to actually write information on the hard drive. So that is the downside um, to using the Wi-Fi capabilities of this. If you format this in EXFAT which will work for Windows and Mac um, the Wi-Fi capabilities aren't gonna work anymore so even though you can connect to its Wi-Fi network you cannot access the hard drive over Wi-Fi. So that is the downside to this hard drive. To use this wirelessly you're gonna have to download an app for your smartphone and of course you can find that app in the Google Play Store or the iOS Store. Once you have the app installed you can just turn on the hard drive and the hard drive is actually gonna make a Wi-Fi network. You can just search for networks and connect to that Wi-Fi network. Once you're connected you can just open the app and you can basically access everything available on that hard drive right from the app. If you connect the hard drive to your home's Wi-Fi, you can basically access the data on the hard drive from any device. So from a computer or a TV box or anything like that. So let's say for a second that um, you're using Kodi, you can just go on the network and search for um, devices on the network and you're going to find the hard drive. And of course you can just uh, start watching whatever is available on the hard drive and it actually works very, very well. The most useful thing that you can do with this is backup stuff from your smartphone, so videos, pictures or anything like that and you can do that um, without having this connected to your smartphone. So you just um, open your gallery for example, you select whatever files you want to send them um, to the hard drive and they uh, get transferred. And sending stuff over Wi-Fi it's also done very quickly, of course it's not going to be as quick as um, if you'd be connected through a cable but it's quick enough. So there you have it, this is the i7 SSD drive. Now me personally I've been using this as a regular hard drive to just move files in between my Mac and my Windows computer just like a regular um, USB stick but um, a bit faster. Now I could see this being useful if you are um, traveling somewhere and you usually film um, with your phone you can just transfer um, all those uh, video files onto this but either than that I'm not sure how useful um, this would be mostly for that um, Wi-Fi connectivity. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.